talk about, uh, this triangle should look familiar, how to use a trig ratio to find a side length in a right triangle. Please bear in mind that this process only works for a right triangle. Um, otherwise, we wouldn't have things like the hypotenuse. Uh, those don't exist. We can't use these trig ratios. So what this means is, whoops, what this means is that we are still going to be using SOCA TOA to figure out which ratio to use, and then we're actually going to go ahead and throw the calculator in the mix and actually solve algebraically what's going on. So here's my, this, what this might look like. Let's say, for argument's sake, and these numbers are going to seem familiar, let's say, for argument's sake, that we were looking at angle C, and we happen to know that it was 37 degrees. That means we can take the sine, cosine, or tangent of it as appropriate, depending on what information we're trying to find and what information we're given. So let's say that we are told that the hypotenuse is 7, and that the, this side length here is x. So please bear in mind, we happen to know that this is the hypotenuse. It's opposite the 90 degree angle. And we know that this is the, that's right, you guessed it, the opposite side, which means that we're going to then use the opposite hypotenuse sine. So our setup, like from the previous video, our setup would look like this. The sine of 37 degrees is equal to the, well, opposite side, which is x, the one we don't know, over 7. Is this an equation that we could then solve for x? Sure, as long as we could figure out what the sine of 37 degrees is. So if you do take the sine of 37 degrees, which is possible to do in your calculator, you will get the following, 0 0.6018, which means instead of the sine 37, we can write 0 0.6018, because that's what the sine of 37 is equal to. Now this doesn't change the rest of the equation, it still then equals x over 7. Now looking at that, if you squint real hard, you see an equation where x, our unknown, is being divided by 7. What do we do to get x by itself? We multiply. Why? Because if we multiply by 7, that cancels out dividing, which means that these will go bye-bye. But of course, if these go bye-bye, that not is means that x will then be by itself, but if we did that to one side, then we certainly have to do it to the other, meaning we had to have also, at the same time, because remember, whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other, multiply this side by 7. So this means, simply put, that x is equal to whatever 7 times 0 0.6018 is, which just so happens to be now 4.2126. Now I'm going to go ahead and write 4.21. That seems like enough decimals to me. But what that does mean now is we know what x is, and it's equal to 4.21, just like that. So that's an example of how you might use the sign. Uh, depending on what information you're given, of course, you might have to use a different ratio. So let's say that instead of this, this layout, we had a slightly different layout. So we happen to know that, what? This is set up so this side is x. That is, this is the side we want to figure out. So this is no longer the opposite side. It is the adjacent side, which means if we're using adjacent hypotenuse, then we're going to use the cosine. So it would still be the, the same similar setup, except we'd be using the cosine of 37 degrees, and that would equal the adjacent side, which is now our x, over the hypotenuse, which is our 7. So, similar process. Is the cosine of 37 something we can figure out? Yes, it is. We type that into our calculator. We're going to get 0.7986. That's what the cosine of 37 equals. So this cosine 37 is that. And then it still equals, because the other side is unchanged, we haven't done anything, not yet, x over 7. Now, just like in the last problem, this does mean that we're going to multiply both sides by 7 because the opposite of dividing by 7, which is what over 7 means originally, uh, would be to multiply. So then when we do that, we take 7 times 0.7986, and we get, now I'm just going to go to two decimal places again, 5.59. Bear in mind that the 7's canceled. 
which means in the end, what have we got? X is equal to 5.59. So we could say X is equal to 5 point, point, there we go, 5, 9. Now I want to run through a slightly, slightly different setup. Let's say that instead of this arrangement of 7 and then we want to find X, let's say that the 7 moves over here. What does that do for us? Well, it means all bets are off because it's a different situation. So we've got to go back to the drawing board and set up a trig ratio that works for that. Please note, we no longer know the hypotenuse. What we do know now, the opposite, which means we know the opposite and the adjacent of the 37 degree angle, which means we're going to use the tangent. Now the setup for this is going to be similar. We're going to be using the tangent, so we take the tangent of the angle, and that's going to equal something over something. What over what? Well, like it says, O then A, so O goes on top, which in this case is D7, and then A, that is adjacent, goes on the bottom. So this looks a little bit different in that the variable is on the bottom. This is not a panic situation. We can deal with it. Now, it still means we're going to use the calculator to figure out what the tangent of 37 degrees is. And that works out to be, you guessed it, 0.7535. And that is then going to equal the 7 over dx. Now, if you don't like that x there, I understand, because you're dividing by the x. So what do you do? Well, one option, of course, is to take the reciprocal. Now, if you choose to take the reciprocal, that would mean that this becomes x over 7. Everyone here should be good with reciprocal. What is the reciprocal of 0.7535? Remember, this is the same as 0.7535 over 1, so the reciprocal must be 1 over 0.7535. Okay. Now, this then means that we have the x on top which means we're dividing it by the 7 now suddenly because we took the reciprocal, remember, which means we multiply by 7. This may look horrible and terrible, but this in reality is not that bad because indeed these 7s cancel out, so we're going to get x equals, and that is going to equal what? Well, 7 times this is the same as 7 over 1 times this, and that means we multiply the top uh, by the top. 7 times 1 is 7. And the bottom just stays as 0.7535. So when we actually then take 7 divided by 0.7535, we get 9.28. Now please bear in mind, I'm just writing these to two decimal places. and I'm not bothering around. I'm just chopping it off at two decimal places. So please note we got different answers depending on different locations, which makes sense. And depending on the information we're given, we have to use a different trig ratio.